Well, I think we're going to have a really tight competition this year because the judge is looking for accuracy and there are some very accurate dogs here today. So who would you be tipping? Uh, I think uh, Vanestica's Gideon Moon. He's had a very successful year and lots of reserve tickets apart from winning outright and very reliable. Anyone else? Yes, uh, Phil Jeffries, an obedience champion, tycoon telepathy. Um, again, very consistent, also won Pro Dogs of the Year. And any more? Um, yes, Jack of Clubs, Gail Waddington, won a lot of tickets this year and a very reliable worker. Mostly experienced handlers, no outsiders? Yes, there's one I very much like, a young dog into ticket with an experienced handler but new to ticket, especially Russ. There are seven tests in the obedience competition. Heel work, send away, retrieve, distance control, sit stay, down stay and the scent. And the first of these is the heel work. Part of the test that Judge John O'Hara had set was a circular route for dog and handler to follow, taking instructions from a steward. And the first of the 31 competitors was Dot Watts with her working sheepdog Take a Walk Zach. Calm and precise heel work, just what this year's judge is looking for. This pair lost just six and a half points on heel work. Unfortunately, Patrick Holden lost rather more with his golden retriever Mel Nola Bramble. But there's always another day. Bramble also does working trials and collects cricket balls for the local team in his spare time. Obedience champion Jack of Clubs, handled by Gail Waddington from Staffordshire, was tipped by Sandy Wadhams as a good one, and they did super heel work, coming out as early leaders when they lost just two points overall. Normal pace now. By contrast, Alison Corkill's Altricia Blue Perry took a wrong course off the circular part of the heel work pattern and paid the penalty. But this was their first time at Crufts and nerves probably took their toll. So what about the other placings? Jill Tubbs working sheepdog Billy finished up his heel work in fourth place. Billy's Jill's second champion made up this year. Jill herself is going to be celebrating later in the year too as she's due to have a baby in August. Tyke, obedience champion Tycoon Telepathy, came second in last year's competition for his handler Philomena Jeffries. He had a good start to the competition, finishing his heel work exercise in third place. Position now. Lovely and steady. Carol Clack's obedience champion Dalmain Red Rascal was first last year, second place at the end of the heel work this year. Weaving poles can be an extra test for the dog's precision. And in this case, Dalamain Red Rascal clipped a pole, but still did manage to hold on to that second place. Oh. The second test is the send away. The box this year was placed right in the corner of the ring, and what we were looking for was a straight run out. But Carol Clack's toddy seems distracted by the flower arrangements and ended up in completely the wrong place. Carol has to continue the test, though, collecting him to heal when she's told. But she lost ten points in all, threatening her second place in the competition so far. Unfortunately, the same bad luck also befell Gail Waddington and Jack. Now, they were the competition leaders after the heel work, but Jack also misses the box by a mile. Right, turn. All your dogs. A little bit hesitant on the pickup, too, so they probably lost some points there as well. Carol Patrick's Jewhisp's Bellen, Taggy, came fourth in last year's competition, but 1996 was not to be their year, a disastrous send-away. Now, Carol isn't allowed to help her dog, but having conceded defeat... There we go, she's decided to turn it into a training exercise. Even at this level, competitors can still maintain their sense of humour, and apparently this is Taggy's weakest exercise, so maybe not unexpected. But this was a lovely send away for Dot Watts and Zach.
straight out to the box and a precise down to command. Right, After all the shenanigans right, with the flowers, I'm sure this was very much appreciated by Judge John O'Hara. Right, a nice tidy pick up too, putting this pair into the lead at the end of the send away test. Now the retrieve can cause all sorts of problems because the article is chosen by the judge and it can be very unusual, in this case a little blue rubber wellington. However strange, it presented no problems for Tyke, who completes a good retrieve. Take it. Dog to heel. A nice finish, judge just going to check that it's straight. And that put them into the lead. And here's Zach with Dot Watts again. Send your dog. Now they couldn't quite match that performance, a little hesitation which lost Zach a couple of points. But he does what's necessary and he manages to hold on to his second place. Distance control can look incredibly impressive when it's done well, and Alison Corkhill's Perry gave us a textbook demonstration. First position. Now you just watch this Next. dog's front paws. Next position. At each command, he must obey, but he mustn't shuffle more than his own length in position. Next position. Perry hardly moves Next an position. inch. Alison must have been delighted with that. On the other hand, Mo Edsa's obedience champion forever magic miracle gets a wee bit confused. Remember, back means stand. Next position. Next position. Next position. <laughs> Never mind, Mo takes it in good humour. So our halfway leader is Dot Watts take a walk Zach, losing a total of just 9.5 points. Two minutes sit stay with handlers out of sight presented no problems at all. Not a single dog shifted a muscle. On to the down stay where the competitors must remain motionless for 10 minutes. Again, their handlers out of sight, completely out of the ring. Some even used the opportunity for a quick kip after the stress of the competition so far. And so to the final test, scent discrimination. John O'Hara had laid the cloths in a circular pattern with two decoy cloths placed on either side of his own scent cloth. They're on this side of the circle. Jean Duncan giving nothing away there as her working sheepdog Brimo Magic Jason Jazz picks the right cloth. I'm sure the relief at completing this particular test right at the end of the competition must be huge. Philomena Jeffries, Tyke, was in second place at this stage. Working methodically. No, but he's fooled by one of the decoys. A huge disappointment for his handler. A lot of dogs seem to be going for that particular decoy cloth. Tyke's failure may have been good news, though, for Sarah Delaney with her Gronendal Vanistica Gideon's Moon, Giddy for short. Now, this was one of Sandy Wadham's tips for the top. No, but no chance of a place picking up the decoy cloth again, dashing their hopes for the Crufts competition. Giddy lost a total of 45 points, but was given five points for effort. A little bit of grace there. That meant that Janet Matthews' rookie obedience champion Cheruska Chris Moss had a chance of a place if he could pull off a good scent. He's a very experienced dog, almost 11 years of age, and this is possibly his last Crufts competition. So it would be great if he could get a place, and picking the right cloth means that he will. Excellent. Janet must have been delighted with that. Now this will be a nightmare for Dot Watts. Zach has been failing scent tests all year and has been in this position many times, leading the competition with it all resting on the scent. 
but history was not to repeat itself for Crufts 1996. Zach brings home the correct cloth, absolutely sure of himself, very confident. Yes, they knew they'd done enough. Absolutely delighted to win. So this year's dog competition went to Dot Watts with Take A Walk Zach, her sixth champion and made up today. I had a chance to talk to Dot after all the photographers had cleared away. We drawn fairly early today. We went in at number eight and we did quite a good round. So then we had to wait to the end of the day to see how we were going to fare. Uh, so it was quite a nerve wracking day. Which were the best and the worst bits of your competition? The best bits, he did a really good send away exercise, really good. And my worst exercise um, was at the end, the scent exercise, that was really nerve wracking because um, he finds that exercise quite difficult.